フルカウンターアイボーイズ、ウォーキンバック。そう、ムショーゲテンテイ、ジュース・ドロップ・オン・ジェイピー。アンウィフ・ダ・アップ・デイ、アニュー・キミラー・ジュース・ドロップ・シー・ノー・アウト・ジュース・ヤ・ビシュー・ウィカウナー・イン・ツー・ウィク・タイム・フォー・ネクト・バナー、ウィッシュ・ズ・ライト・アフター・コラボレーション、アン・ライト・ビフォー・ザ・ジェイピー・アナバーサリー。そう、イス・ゴン・ツー・ビア・バナー・モース・ピポー・ウィス・キッ、バー・キミラー・イス・アヴァー・リー・クエスト・カラー・ツー・ウィヴン・ウィス・ネ・ゲン・ネ・ゲン・エヴァー・シュー・キム・アン・オス・ツー・ザ・フォー・ヤー・ゴン・アー・シー・イス・ノット・アウェイ・コンバージョン・ディス・イス・ジュース・アヴァー・ナム・カラー・アン・アン・キュー・ハシュー・ワーカー・アドン・フィー・ハヴァー・エグザクト・スクー・ウィSee what she's gonna do, so let's check out. All right, so yeah, obviously, this is done by seven days since leaks. As you can see, Miguel got leaked a while ago. If you remember what happened to her, that's because she actually dropped with the newest update, and they've done the same thing here with Camilla. So, this got leaked a few hours ago. You can tell straight away that it was obviously a new、uh, color rather than the Awakened version because the Awakened version looked drastically different to the original ones. But、uh, let's see what she does here. So,、uh, the first time seeing her. Oh, well, okay, hang on. She looks more like Yudorichi, actually. It's like the lightning bolts in a way, right? Okay. Alpha looks good, though.、Uh, okay, see, we can't see the actual. You can see right below me right now, right?、Uh, she is blue, though. So, yes, it is a blue character. Now, bear in mind, Unknowns have just got a lot of support recently with obviously Ghislaine and also Roxy. So, I'm curious how she's going to work out.、Uh, we don't know what the passive or if she's going to get a relic yet, but I do imagine she'll be more of either. I hope she's more of like, you know, an unknown booster, but work on the unknown team. They are going on a route where every single Tashibi character is being made more of a actual.、Um You know, catastrophe beast does, so it's quite annoying. But she is the only catastrophe that is unknown, so who knows, right? So let's check what she does do here. Outfit is good, though, I'm not gonna lie. That actually looks really nice. But TV, she's only got really good outfits. I can't even get in there. Are we gonna get a new grey road now? Who knows? Oh, is that a hair? I can't tell. Okay, so this says, um. Okay, where is it? So, Phil's ultimate move gauge. I wonder if that's true, though, because bear in mind, she actually. Okay, hang on, this might be insane. Okay, if this is actually her skills, it's not placement, right? This is actually not too bad. Because, um. This ultimate is going to, or this skill here is going to help her get ultimate a lot faster. This is obviously the exact same thing as、um, Eren. So you just you merge it, you probably get ultimate like one, one or two times. And、um, we'll see what a passive, well, we don't know what a passive is just yet, but that might make her survive. So this actually would be a pretty good skill to have. And then,、um, despite her being or trying to rush ultimate, if she's just got attack rate stat buff for the unknown team, hello? I mean, it's not going to work with Roxy, because Roxy gives that, so you'll kinda, you can't overlap the same buff, right? But like, just applying that to like Infinity to Merlin, applying that towards even like the new.、Uh, yeah, so we can't see what the passive. Oh! Okay, what's good? It could be a placeholder, but、um, doesn't work in PvP and doesn't work in、uh, boss battles. So, does that mean she's a demonic PvP battle character? Can't take that for certainty. That could just be a placeholder, but who knows? Oh, we get actual gameplay? Hang on. Wait,、oh, hang on. Okay. I wish you would have showed the chance from.、Uh, ooh. Okay. I was going to say, by the way, I, I made a video before this, but I have to redo it now because we now have got elite gameplay. But I was going to say, she, when she does awaken. Okay, let's watch the gameplay first. I'll see afterwards. I know you're probably here for this, right? Okay, she looks good doing it. Okay, that is.、Uh, yeah, I mean, Phil's ultimate move gauge. Fair enough, right? Ooh. Ooh, she looks good, though. I mean, bro, she might be alright, you know, because the unknown team's just cracked, bro. Okay, so that is definitely a buff skill. Definitely a buff skill, because you can't redo the animation, right? So, y e a h 100% buff up the team is.、So、that's cool.、Uh, that'll give us some utility towards obviously the unknown team. I hope it's a stack race, actually, because we kind of need it. Would that stack with Camilla? Oh, not Camilla. Would that stack with Echidna? I think so. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's check the ultimate. It's going to be the exact same, but I wonder if that actual. Okay, is it the exact same? Yeah, so it's going to be the exact same ultimate, which is. um... We'll go for it in a second. <laughs> that looks funny, actually. Alright. Yeah, it's the exact same. Does the actual、uh, wolf change or beast? Nah, it stays the same. Okay, fair enough.、Uh, and if it looks it, we haven't got the animations for. Yeah, we don't have the animations for the actual wolf yet. Oh, this actual costume, okay. Okay, so now we showcase the natural animations with the actual, I assume, SR actual、uh, outfit. Alright, so yeah, Camilla, she is going to be a blue character.、Uh, the old one's the exact same, which is removing buffs and D, or review D buff allies.、Uh, be good against, obviously, Mayo. Mayo does apply D buffs, that'd be kind of nice as well, right? And also, buffs,、uh, you know, could be good against Mayo, you know, hang on. Because if you remove Mayo's, let's say,、uh, D buffs, right, it applies two onto you, that'll be good to remove them, right? And you're also lowering the actual max HP. I guess it wouldn't work because you can't lower goddesses' actual、uh, HP, right? But, uh, Uh, if you can. 
I, does it work subs? I, I don't know how it's going to work, but uh, if you kill me, yeah, at least their buff will then work, right? But that's uh, something to look out for. The big thing of transform characters is that they do fully heal, so it's obviously nice. And then, like I said, when we do transform, uh, from the looks of it, the actual animations are the exact same. These could be broken, bear in mind, she does get another passive, so the passive will work as well. And the ultimate is obviously uh, Escanor's old ultimate. It's actually a pretty high multiplier, but once again, you have to get five orbs or ten orbs again to get it. It's uh, not great to only kill one person. But from the looks of it, especially with the buff skill, she might be more of a support character. And that kind of brings the question, what if she actually is a character made specifically for the Monopy battle or something like, you know, Nidhogg, right? Obviously, right now, Nidhogg is going on the right of obviously giving more goddesses. But obviously, bear in mind, Freya is unknown. And while Passive does want to have all goddesses, they might make a new character like Camilla for a relic or something to where you might have to use four unknown characters. And, and at that point, Roxy might be really good for the Monopy battle character, the one from the new Mishogi Tensei collaboration. And also Freya, despite her relic not really working too well, she is obviously unknown. So she'll get the Passive work here. So it might be possible she might be the new Nidhogg support and also might get Relic made specifically for Nidhogg. Bear in mind, she is coming out in two weeks' time, so she'll be right before the actual anniversary, which is uh, going to be a bit of a yikes, honestly. Uh, bear in mind, I should say as well, we're not going to be getting a new actual um, story chapter. It looks like we're getting story chapters every, I think, three months? I think I think every two months we get a festival. Or every five months is it? I'm not too sure. But it looks like the rotating between Ragnarok and also rotating between the OC storyline. And obviously we just got OC, so so that does mean in two months' time we're gonna get Ragnarok. And in two months later, so yeah, like five months time. Who knows we're gonna do it? But uh, we're gonna be getting probably a new chapter. They might go in depth towards the background of Camilla because if you don't know, I made a video about it on screen now. You can see it. I went through the background, the lore of all the actual OC characters. If you don't know what happened to her, she basically got bullied out of her own world due to racism humans hated the beastman race and they basically slaughtered all of her kind and she obviously is the guardian of the the beastman race basically and because of that she failed to protect them and she was uh this, she was fed into despair i believe it was and then lilia actually came and reached out to her helped her and brought her to the britannia world where they are now trying to save it so uh boys i believe that is it like i said let me just go back towards the gameplay here uh, like i said the actual skills could definitely change here we don't know exactly what they're going to do but uh the first skill the fact that you do get what's it ultimate move gauge by using using the tier 2 or tier 3 skill. It's uh, going to help her rush ultimate faster, help her transform. Bear in mind, when she does transform, she does get a new passive, so that could be really good too. And I think while she's doing that, just buffing up the team, attack or stats ability, or whatever it may be, is definitely going to be really, really good, man. Just once again, making Merlin crit, the obviously Infinity Merlin, make it, I don't know what actual, um, I don't think I know what Ghislaine's actual uh, substats are, but if she can crit, that'd be insane. Just uh, attack race. I feel like only Easton got this ability, and it's really, really good, right? And uh, just to get more attack race stats, is always nice as well. It's going to be insane. So, boys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this Camilla. Are you excited that we're actually getting a new Camilla? It's possible Grey Road may come next now. If they're just releasing all these other characters, it's um, honestly surprising. Who knows what's going to happen. Boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.